Rubio backing in on Davis. Out to Kobe. Off the dribble to the baseline. Slings it out to Rice. Who hits the jumper plus the foul. Mark Jackson with the easy find. Bryant hits over Jackson. See, I, I think as the game goes on, if Kobe can get his ankle to loosen up, it appears already he's starting to feel much better about it than he did the first couple minutes, Bob. Derek Fisher is in for the Lakers. He'll match up against Best. And that's been a great matchup. Kobe Bryant, that's his second basket. He's two for five now. Under control. His feet were balanced underneath him. Got his shoulders square. That's what he's going to have to do right now as he works himself back into the game. Chris Mullen was struggling defensively on Rick Fox. Here's Reggie Miller with the catch and shoot. Rebound fought for and scooped up by Ori. The foul a moment ago was O'Neal's. That's why that two-man action is so good there. Nice pass from Bryant to the cutting Fox. Good ball movement right now by the Lakers. That was a very stiff play. Perkins and McKee out. Smiths and Dale Davis back in. Kobe Bryant with the jumper, and L.A. has now made its last six shots from the floor. You see how much better Kobe's moving. You're seeing more confidence now. He's played a little while. He's trusting that ankle. Also, one update on Kobe Bryant. I talked to Kobe at halftime. He said the ankle is bothering him, but he will continue to play. No rebounds, which tells you he's sort of staying out of congestion. There is the foul. That's going to be four on Kobe Bryant. So fouls already taking their toll right now. What will Phil Jackson do here? Will he come out? And substitute, will he bring in Rick Fox or Shaw, or is he going to let Kobe Bryant play through this? He's got four, and let's see if you can post Mark Jackson up and go against him one more time. Maybe you can get the fifth. Right here it is. Somebody's got to help. Smith will have a little jump shot. And Kobe goes up and blocks it, but it winds up in the hands of Dale Davis, whose open jumper won't go. Bryant accelerating to the baseline and hitting the jumper. It's an amazing gamble by Phil Jackson to leave Kobe out there now. He played two minutes of the second half. Indiana by five. Kobe Bryant cuts it to three. See, Kobe is starting to get back into the flow. You see Kobe here as he goes to the basket. Now, that's his left ankle that he has to plant when he's going that direction. He comes back, so it looks like he trusts it. And this way, he's going to plant that right foot to go up for this jump shot. Hangs in the air. What a tough shot. He knocks down two jumpers. Well, Kobe wants that ball in the post. AC Green looking for Bryant, but Jackson has pushed him far from the basket. Doesn't take him long to get into the lane and hangs in the air with another beauty. Well, it's a bad sign for the Pacers. Now Kobe picks up his fourth foul and it almost excites him. He's like now going to the basket, something we didn't see in that first half. And he has shown repeatedly that he will take a hit in order to draw that charging foul. Here's Kobe driving past Miller. That was quick and that was powerful with the finish and you're seeing Kobe work himself into the game. He's spinning into the paint. Another tough, tough hoop. That's the play they like to run. Kobe, a little one-on-one, -on -one, they call it the open set, and they open it up with Shaquille O'Neal on the bench. There's no post player in there. This is Chicago's old play for Michael Jordan. Kobe doesn't look too bad running in it, but they open the floor up once again. He's got the whole middle there to work with. No help defense. A little spin move, gathers himself, and knocks in the open jump shot. Kobe has 16, 10 of them in this third quarter. As an answer. See, he has that little medium-range jump shot. We talk about it being a lost start in the NBA. It's either a three and all the way to the basket. He has that pull-up shot. Now it's Harper on Miller. Seven on the shot clock. Reggie off the dribble. Slings it out to Best. Bumps off Bryant. Pumps up a three just before the shot clock. And it was a 24-second violation. Travis Best wanted the foul against Kobe Bryant. As he started to penetrate, he got bumped, and when he did, he lost his balance. Now watch this as he starts to go. Right there, he loses his balance, never can gather himself, and Kobe gets a hand up just enough to bother him. 
Now the question is, do you keep going into Shaquille O'Neal now? He's missed three of his last four free throws, or do you let Kobe try to go against Rose now? Indiana has five fouls. The Pacers do not want to foul here and put Kobe on the line. Kobe fires the jumper and gives L.A. the lead. 102 to 100, and even 20 for Kobe Bryant coming back off the sprained ankle. Kobe Bryant, we've seen him hit so many big shots. We saw it in the Portland series. We saw the game winner against Phoenix. Remember, he's just come back. He gets in the lane. Tremendous confidence in his ability. And again, that's what you miss when you miss Kobe Bryant being out of the lineup. A little go-to guy there at the end of the game other than just throwing it to Shaq. Now, Indiana wants to get a quick two-for-one, and they've got about probably about 10 seconds or so, Bob, that they can do that, but they want something driving to the basket. Now, remember, Shaquille O'Neal is playing Sam Perkins, and if he goes to the shot block and you kick out, Perkins can tie this thing with a three. Travis Best. Miller trying to come off the screen. They find Perkins for three, and Doug Collins called that big time. Get the look that you want. 18 points for Rick Smith in 18 minutes on the floor. Kobe between two defenders. Mark Jackson's got to step in there and trap him and force him to kick that ball out to Ron Harper. The two guys that can beat you are Kobe and Shaq, not Harper. Rose against Rice. Misses it. Shaw grabs the rebound. That's a loose ball foul on Shaq. That'll be number six. What a big play. That's it. Bill Jackson hands in his pockets, staring at Steve Jabby in seeming disbelief. Now remember, in game two, Kobe gets hurt, only plays nine minutes over the top there as Shaq gets his sixth foul. But Bob, remember, in game two, Kobe plays only nine minutes. Shaq misses 21 free throws, and they win the game. Well, now Shaquille O'Neal has fouled out, 2.33 to go. You're down three. You have got to find a way to win this game if you're the Pacers. two-point basket he was just inside the line the Laker lead is three again how about the boys of this young guy Kobe Bryant and Reggie Miller the marquee matchup we talked about look at Reggie Miller squaring him up these two guys played one-on-one -on -one all summer in LA Kobe takes it between his leg he pulls it back hits the jumper and then sort of gives it you know take your time everything's cool I'm not gonna let us lose this game the poise of this young guy who would only be a senior in college this year had he went to college. Um, amazing. They gotta, they gotta get a stop here and give themselves a chance to take the lead and you know Kobe is gonna go to work again. Here he is over Jackson. How good is this kid? Well now Mark Jackson is in playing here and you know defensively he is not a good defender. He matched up on Kobe on that play but just stepping up and shooting huge shots. Before shooting free throws. Kobe Bryant once again the ball is going to be in his hands. How much do you miss a guy when you don't have him? You miss him for this right here. Huge jump shots. Shot clock at 12. So you don't want to foul now because you got one to give. They won't shoot free throws. Shaw, running one-hander, followed in by Kobe Bryant. Again, offensive rebounds. Rose will throw it in. Mark Jackson, four seconds. Reggie, off the screen for three. The Lakers have a 3-1 lead.